Welcome back to Mycology Exploration. And the husband just made these slurry jars. It's 500 milliliters of purified or clean water, 10 grams agar, 10 grams light malt extract. And we actually got this recipe from Willie's World. We love Willie's world. We love Willie and the fam over there. It's amazing what all he's done in that community. And so we've learned a lot. And so we are experimenting. This is the first time that we have created these slurries. We modded the top just with air exchange and not with syringe ports. I made a video about that if you're interested. And so you can see the condensation here from the boiling hot water that he used to create this. And what we're gonna do is put foil on top because we have the modded top this is breathable tape. You can see the little holes, so there's air exchange. And so we will be putting foil on the top before we pressure cook. And the recommendation on this recipe in these jars is 45 minutes at 15 PSI but you don't want them to sit in the pressure cooker after. So anytime you're working with anything with sugars or dextrose, you don't want to burn or overcook. And so the recommendation on this recipe is 45 minutes at 15 PSI, and then you want to allow the pressure to leave your pressure cooker and carefully remove them without burning yourself, keeping them level. Normally we recommend for these no pour jars, 20 max of 30 minutes at 15 PSI. But the recommendation on Willie's slurry recipe here, <laughs> and we're not following it exactly because we do not have syringe ports. That's unnecessary to us. And we're excited about this. We're gonna be putting these transfers taking a small transfer of each and putting them in the bottom tomorrow after these pressure cook and cool, allowing it to grow out to the edge, and then we'll be adding water that's been pressure cooked. And we'll come back to update you on that. So again, 45 minutes, 15 PSI on the slurry recipe. Much love, friends.